Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to talk to you about things that frustrate me in regards to PD days. And when I say PD day, if you don't know what that is, like working at the school we have what are called PD days, um, which is professional development. And I totally get why like the teachers need to be there, but what irritates me is that they expect support staff, which Technically, our paraprofessionals in our district are considered support staff. Um, we are contracted under the support staff, whatever, union. And um, we are expected to be there basically for the entire day. And the thing that really irritates me the most is that there's not always stuff for us to do. Like, the teachers are in meetings basically all day long. Um... There's maybe a couple hours during PD days where they're actually not in meetings, but most of the time, like, they don't want the support staff in the meetings. So we spend our time on professional development days cleaning, sanitizing, and organizing the classrooms. And sometimes we run out of, like, things to sanitize, clean, and organize. Like, we definitely take our time because of the fact that we have a small classroom. Um, I believe I have shown you guys in previous videos like what our classroom looks like but like yes we do go through like all the blocks all the cars everything that has high contact um, I sanitize and spray like all of our carpets our stuffed animals all of the hard surfaces but the thing about it is like if I was to just like go through at a regular pace I would be done with everything by noon and so it's a lot of like sitting and waiting and doing nothing like we do get an hour for lunch on professional development days it just kind of frustrates me like the fact that we actually have to stay from like 8 a.m until 3 p.m i get like i said i get why the teachers need to be there because um like they have meetings going on and things like that and there are some professional development days where we've done like the previous one was an active shooter training and so like I think it was important for us to participate in that training but it's just kind of frustrating when you're sitting there and you're like organizing the classroom and you know it just seems like a waste of time like I feel like I get so bored and tired just sitting in the classroom and you know like Yes, it is good that we get a chance to deep clean and organize and go through things. But like last time I sat there and I took a piece of paper and I was going through like every single marker that we have and just like going like this, like writing with the marker, seeing which ones are running out of color, whatever. Like I was going like this and I felt like I was going to fall asleep because it was so boring. Um, and I actually, I have two PD days this week. Monday is a PD day where the students are actually at the school, but I have to do the second half of adaptive communication training, which is frustrating because I don't understand why we couldn't have done that on our PD day on Tuesday, which is when we're going to end up having to organize, sanitize, disinfect, clean, all that stuff. And another thing that like frustrates me about that is that it seems like I do a lot of the um, sanitizing and things like that. Whereas the last PD day, the lead teacher gave the other para the responsibilities of putting together packets for students. And it seems like she gives her a lot of like stuff that actually matters, stuff that like is not just sanitizing. Like obviously with cold and flu season ramping up and COVID still existing and things like that, like yes, it is important for us to sanitize. There has been sickness in our classroom. I don't know if you can tell, but I am congested. Um, I have been sick off and on since August when school started. And that's just kind of the nature of the beast with all the germs and cooties and everything else floating around in the elementary school. But it's just kind of frustrating because I feel like I'm not being used to my full potential, especially on professional development days. Yes, we do get paid for being there, but I would rather be doing something meaningful than just sanitizing and organizing and going through markers and seeing which ones are dying. Like we have a lot of supplies. We have drawers full of like markers and crayons and glue and glue sticks and chalk and things like that. But 
it's frustrating when I'm having to go through the markers and I'm the only one doing it. Like, it's just, it's frustrating. Um, and don't get me wrong. I love my job. I just don't understand like why we need to be there for the whole day. Like I am a full-time college student on top of being a full-time paraprofessional. And I feel like I could be utilizing my time in a lot better way. Like I could be at home studying, working on homework, doing exams and things like that so that I can pass my classes and get my bachelor's degree and move on to med school. And instead I'm sitting, going through markers and seeing which ones are dying and seeing which ones I can keep and organizing them in the bucket. Um, if I'm able to, I will try to bring like my camera and show you some things that we do like on our PD day on Tuesday. I, I cannot bring my camera to show you what we do on Monday because it's more like <clears throat> an interactive thing and I can't, I'm not looking forward to it at all because like the first part of adaptive communication training was all like role playing and I'm not good at like role playing situations. Like I'm more of a person who responds as the situation's actually happening. It's hard for me sometimes to picture like what potentially could be happening or what I could potentially say in response to someone. It's hard for me to like get that formulated in my head. So, um, I, I just don't like that. And I know that that is exactly what part two of this adaptive communication training is going to be all about as well, because he told us that during part one. Um, so I had to like put in an absence for Monday, which is that adaptive communication training. So the students will actually be at school, but I won't be um, in the classroom. I think we'll probably be in the conference room. But on Tuesday, there's no students. And so we'll be doing like the sanitizing and things like that. I will say at least like normally either the school provides lunch or we get lunch from one of the restaurants in town, which is really nice. Um, we don't pay for it. The school actually provides lunch um, like they pay for it is what I mean. So on Tuesday, I will try to like bring my camera and show you different things if I'm able to and if I remember, because um, I'm going to be honest, I don't always remember um, especially on days when I know I'm going to be bored to death and trying to stay awake. Um, so yeah, those are basically like the basic reasons why I don't like professional development days because I don't understand why it's called professional development for us because I'm not, I'm definitely not doing any sort of professional development by sanitizing. And like, even if I was putting the packets together, I still wouldn't consider that to be professional development for me. Um, cause I'm just putting packets together for students to work on. And I don't really know if she'll even be doing that this time because she was just doing that yesterday. Um, today is Saturday. She was doing that yesterday because, um, she was doing resource. And so, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to share my thoughts. If you guys have worked at a school or as a paraprofessional or whatever, and you have different things you don't like about professional development days, what are they? I'm curious to know. Um, and yeah, with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys again next time.